Hi, beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, any old comers? Yes, I've cut my hair off completely. Uh, for any any newcomers, I had hair hair down to my I don't know where it ended. It was horrific at the end there. Um, so yes, it's getting a little bit to to get used to here, and it's such a dramatic change that I just felt like I, I just had to address it a little bit. So anyway, um, there's so many things going on, guys. It's just, you know, it's just crazy. Uh, the shifts, at least that I feel right now, not on a global scale that, oh, it's so chaotic. I just feel like the inner, the inner changer, the inner changes are just tremendous right now. So um, I feel because usually, and if you're an old comer, you would uh, probably expect like a love reading right now. So usually like every other week I would do a general reading and every other week I would do a love reading. And I just feel more and more that with my own understanding more and more, it's sort of like I, I slowly but surely move away from the, and here's your love reading. It's so, um, and, and again, I, again, I said this to other signs but I don't want to sound arrogant and I don't want to sound like it's not important to have the experiences that everyone is having because they are and they're crucial to our existence and our and our evolution but uh, I'm saying but I just erased everything and um there's a there's an evolution and I just feel like we're more and more coming in to the love vibration like as a species as a collective we haven't even entered the love vibration yet. So when we walk around saying, I love you, I love you too. It's sort of like, well, we really don't because we don't even understand what the term love means. We understand, I, I want you well, I, but the whole relationship stuff like uh, boy meets girl or boy or boy, oh boy, <laughs> girl meets girl, whatever. Um, it's a little bit outdated. That's going to be even more problem. Like that's m the meeting of your counterpart. The meaning of your divine counterpart is going to be even more yeah, malicious. That's a word. Um, when it happens, because while, while you're on this evolution trip, coming into your love vibration and you meet another one who's also in their love vibration, now we can start to talk about love. But that's why people say, you know, love is not enough. Loving someone is not always enough because, you know, you realize there's so much more. Well, love is enough if you're in the love vibration. And so it feels like uh, because of that, I just sort of want to just continue to do these readings because uh, that's that way it works for me. And it, it's important that it works for me. If it doesn't work for me, it won't work for you. Um, I just want to continue to just say, okay, let's figure out what's going on for Scorpio, the collective Scorpio, uh, on their ascension journey, on their spiritual journey, on their, um, like, what's next on your journey as an experience. And then you put your, like, you put yourself in wherever that fits. And I hope you enjoy that sort of little transition there. So with that said, Scorpio, let's see what's going on for you for the upcoming time frame, which is somewhere mid-August to somewhere mid-September of 2021. Scorpio. <clears throat> and we're going to start light. I never light. It's depth <laughs> from the get-go. We're going to start with an overall feel here and then we're going to go deeper and then explain it and clarify it. And then if you feel, and there's going to be enough time through this reading for you to figure out whether this reading is for you or not, at the end of it, there's going to be an extension to go even deeper and understand probably even more. Scorpio, let's see. Something feels important. Something feels like, okay, I want to shuffle this deck and I want to shuffle it so that it like it really gets right. So that's important to say. There's something that you want right now to get really correct or right. Like I want I want to do this the right way. Like I want to take my time on this. If it were to compare it to like a a diet or something you wouldn't go on a diet on Monday like 
I'm going to go on a diet on Monday. Like, you know, um, this would be like a lifestyle change so that you understand, okay, I don't need to rush this. There's no diet that I'm going to start on Monday and do for seven days. And then that's going to be gone. This is like, you want to take your time because you understand, no, I'm shifting this completely. I don't know if diet was the right analogy to use there, but just have you understand what I like, what I'm feeling here. This little cutie pie. <laughs> I am not used to this yet. So I feel a little bit too cute in it still. And I don't mean to like, I'm not, it's not like I just complimented myself saying I'm so cute. Anyway. Scorpio. But having that message being said to you, we should have a card coming out. There you go. Choose wisely, number seven, wisdom. I swear, wisdom has come out for pretty much every sign this week. I swear, like you wouldn't believe, like you wouldn't believe me. I'm just gonna, okay. Just not gonna care about it. Okay, choose wisely, and you sure do, because wisdom, the wisdom card is out. Choose wisely, and the, then there's this dude. He's sitting on the dock. He's sitting on the dock and com complimenting. Complimenting. Is that the word? Is that what I'm going for? Like he's uh, contemplating. <laughs> he's not complimenting. He's contemplating. He's contemplating things. He's like thinking over things. He's, um, again, he's taking, like the, the feeling I had when I shuffled, he's taking his time. This is not something you rush. You, this decision or this change or this uh, experience, it's not something you rush. You understand that there's like a, there's this whole journey within within this, whatever this is for you. And the choose wisely, I just feel like this is just not a, I don't feel like this is five choices or this is like, okay, so you need to take your time to make this choice. It doesn't feel like a choice. It feels you're on this journey right now and you just want to take your time is what I'm getting. You want to take your time. And um, number seven there for me is like when, this is when you've ended up, like you lived a lot of life and you end up in a place where you sort of have a full view. It's like you can almost look out and I'm not saying that you're 93 years old and you're sort of, uh, looking back at your life like this is what you this is what you did you can be 25 years old or or 45 years old it, it's not the age it's not like how much life you've lived but it's a feeling of like you've reached a point where you sort of have access to sort of looking out at whatever you've created whatever you've done and have an understanding of it and and sort of having um it's almost like a euphoria feeling. It's a euphoric love, joy feeling and understanding because it's like you're no, you're no longer trapped. You're in wisdom. Together with the wisdom card, number five, which is for me all about the, it's all about the creation. It's all about getting, it's all about having an again having an understanding having having an understanding of whatever like whatever you're producing thinking feeling like whatever you're sending out that's that's the effect like that's what you're getting back here in your life and there's a wisdom here there's an understanding i talked to another sign about this because i was saying because the wisdom has come out so much so i feel like as a collective we are getting wiser. We're not getting smarter. And I, that's what I did. I did the smart because I have a, my oldest son is hearing impaired. So I'm using sign language with him. And in Swedish, the Swedish sign uh, for smart is like that. It's like we're expanding our brain. But being smart, expanding our brain has nothing to do with being wise. Wise is a whole other level. And that's what you are. You're coming into your wisdom. 
and you're choosing wisely. You're coming from wisdom and you're choosing from your wisdom. Okay, so why is these we I don't have to even do separate cards. Why are these uh, wisdom cards here for Scorpio, please? So four of Raphael and the lovers. Four of Raphael, dragonflies, um, seashells, listening to your intuition, and the lovers card is like make choices from the heart. So these are coming out as like a, as an explanation or as a clarification or as a deepening of the message of the wisdom. And so to me, this is like uh, number four. That is your heart. It's a heart matter and it's a, it's laying a new, completely new foundation for yourself. Coming from a very whole place because the Raphael is all about the healing. Healing of the mind and the, the mind and the soul and the body. Uh, and it says seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. So this is what I'm feeling. Like there's such a journey inside of you right now. Like you're... I think you don't miss, of course we do, of course we do. We're so programmed to miss like 90% of what's going on around us or we would be crazy. We would not be able to handle it. So with that said, I still wanna say, it's like you don't miss a single thing, like nothing passes you by right now. It's almost like you're, um, I'm getting that's like you're having this heightened senses or heightened, heightened awareness that like no thought passes you by no uh you come into a room and it's like as you look around there's like no detail that sort of passes you by there's such a clarity about you i think and feel that some of you guys i just realized that we have four five six seven on the table so there's a beautiful journey going on here for you right now uh yeah so this is not going to be for all of you but for some of you this clarity or this heightened sensitivity or our acute awareness at the very beginning of this i feel like it's not that um it's not that yummy it's not that um <laughs> it's not like particularly you want this you want to feel this and you want to experience this it brings so much like extra dimension to your life, like extra, like you're aware of everything, of everything. But at the very beginning of this sort of opening or sort of uh, attention to detail, it can be quite overwhelming and it, it can be quite exhausting. So, and that's not for all of you, but for some of you, I feel like there's almost like a, it's almost like you ripped the door open and there is like, there it was. It's like when you, You've been in darkness, and I don't mean that, like, I mean in literal, like sometimes it's just very plain. You've been in a dark room. You've been in a dark room, like for for instance, if you wake up in the morning or you've been in a dark room, like just the other night, um, my little boy, for the life of him, he just could not sleep. He just, he just, I don't know what was going on yesterday. Yesterday was my, uh, the 17th of, of August. Um, I don't know what was up. I felt really weird as well. I felt sick almost at times uh, and was really fatigued. And and my boy was, he was a little bit agitated, you know, in his body. Um, he wasn't, really, yeah, really having any of it and quite tired as well. And then he, he just couldn't sleep last night. And so it was like really dark in his room and, um, and he kept waking up and kept waking up. And he was like, can I just come sit? I said this in Swedish. Can we come and sit? It was so fun. Uh, can I just come and sit on the couch? Like, please. Um, and as we came out here and I just needed to light up, you know, 
put the light on in the in the next room and you're going from that darkness to that kind of light is like it just blinds you in the beginning but eventually in a very somewhat short amount of time you get used to the light and so and the same thing obviously if if, if it's been bright light and you sort of do shut the light off to complete darkness for for a minute there or for a couple of seconds it's just pitch black you literally cannot see anything but if you just stand still for a little bit in the darkness soon enough you will adjust your eyes and your sort of body will adjust to the darkness and soon enough you will see through it and so there's something here about um and this is more like going towards the light it's more more the lighter side of this i'm not saying the dark is bad and light is good i'm just saying that it's more more of the light that is just Mm, it's more of the let's say this instead it's more of the higher vibration and and the subtler is that a word the subtler side of things and and it can be quite in quite overwhelming in the beginning it's like somebody has just turned on the light and it takes you a moment to sort of adjust to that to that really bright light that's what it feels like and it feels like it's not just for the eyes. It, it, it's not that literal. It feels emotional. It feels like your whole body is adjusting to this. And it feels like there's something you want. It's not like something that just has happened to you. And, and now you just have to act accordingly to try to cope with this thing that just happened to you. This is sort of like an asking. And I don't even know if you know that it has been an asking of yours. Because I don't know if you correlate the 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 heightened the heightened sense the heightened sensitivity with you wanting to just understand more of your own journey right now does that make any sense like what does this heightened overwhelming uh acutely aware of details thing nothing passes you by it's like it's like everything if i were to compare it to a movie it's like everything goes in slow motion and something just you know you just pick up everything and it's like what does that have to do with understanding my journey here on earth or something like that and soon enough you will it's like you will piece it together you will understand it eventually this is very much about listening to your, to your intuition and those dragonflies for me always represents a huge uh spiritual shift there's some inner shifts going on there for you. Um, and then with the lovers, which is the love vibration that I just talked about, like we're coming into love more and more and more. And uh, number six there for me is all about the connection with your inner being. Just feel, feel the connection, not just being out here on the physical plane, playing out the practical stuff, but really reconnect with that layered inner being of yours is, is six. And it's a journey, it's wisdom, we're coming into love. And for some of you guys, like I said, it's not a love reading and it's not boy meets girl. I don't want to offend anybody with saying boy meets girl. Well, what about me? I just want like your suit. <laughs> you know what I mean. So boy meets girl, um, it can be so about that. It can be so about you're now finally coming into your own. You're coming into your essence of who you truly are, like your true potential. And you start to understand more and more and more about yourself. And it's like not until you have flung this door open and you start to understand every freaking detail of your life, now is the time to invite somebody in. Now might be the time where you completely feel the opposite. I am not ready to have a relationship because of all the things that are happening in your life. But I'm just saying, if there was a time in your life that you wanted to meet somebody, this is it because, and it's not like this is it, do or die, this is it and then it's gone, no. But I mean, not until now, not until now actually is a really, really good time to just have a loving, supporting relationship in your life that for the first time, maybe a person actually would understand what you're about because they're coming from the same love vibration. Okay, we just add <clears throat> something here. Yes, we can. Yeah, 
definitely a process. You're moving up the scale. You're, you're, this is what I mean. It's like we're coming, you probably have come from a little bit of a darker place. That was the, um, <laughs> I was going to say email, but the mail, incoming mail. So maybe there's an incoming message there for some of you guys. Um, you probably have come from a little bit of the darker places or like working more, saying dark, I don't mean bad. I'm just meaning the lower aspects. So you probably have been a little bit more in the lower chakras, let's say, the lower energy systems in your body, like the root, your uh, sacral chakra, and perhaps even your solar plexus. That has been more of your experience in life, whatever those chakras represent, has been a little bit more on your focus, in your focus. And now it's like, you're somewhere in the middle or somewhere solar plexus heart because of the we're in wisdom now and we are four which is the heart lovers is the heart um we're we're somewhere in the middle and now we're moving on up it's like we're now more interested in coming up to understand you want to understand more of or or going to exist more in your uh throat your third eye and your crown is like we're moving on up here and it's such a beautiful process that you're in at the moment i feel like you sat down in the middle and just took a breath like okay <laughs> on with the journey it's not easy to wake up it's it's freaking not easy to wake up is it simple heck yeah is it easy hell no but it's what you want. I'm gonna move into the extension and see what else I can find there for you, going deeper into the message. If you feel like, yeah, this struck a chord in me, I know it, I know what she's talking about. Um, I just realized again, however much cards I have picked here, which is five, uh, whatever I added, it just added to the layer of, of uh, the journey. So we have three, four, five, six, seven on the table. It's a beautiful process, it's a beautiful journey. And it's so much about the like the energy centers about you at the moment. Let's see what else I can find there for you for, uh, in the extension. So if you feel like this, yeah, this is my reading. The link to that is in the description box down below. If not, thank you so much for watching. Um, Scorpio, I hope to see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.